Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with TaylorMade today in Carlsbad, California at the Kingdom, which is just a phenomenal facility. I've got Chandler Carr with me, and we're talking right now about the brand new M6 driver. A lot of exciting technology going on here, a lot of buzz. Speed injected twist faced being the key technology. Tell us a little bit about what you've done here, because I know there was a lot of years in the making. Yeah, so speed injected twist face is really our way of optimizing ball speed um, for every golfer, right? You know, we know um, whenever you make a driver, you know, and this goes for any manufacturer, you know, there's going to be manufacturing deviation. You know, there's manufacturing tolerances that um, take place because this is the reality of manufacturing. The USGA and the RNA set rules on how fast a driver can be. So we know that, hey, we don't you know, we're not in the business of making products that are illegal. You know, we got to support the best players on the planet. So every driver that we sell with 100% certainty has to be a conforming driver. That there's still a lot of opportunity to get as close to that limit as possible. Right. And speed injection twist face helps us do that. Yeah, and it's unique the way you do it. You actually take the face, you've made the face so thin that you've gone past the limit and then you use these uh, screws to inject resin to slow the face back down, but to get it to where it's right at the max. Correct, yeah, so we know that there's opportunity there for everyone to get faster, and the speed injection process, you know, the two ports on the face here allow us to, at the very last stage of manufacturing, at the very end, um, every head is tested, multiple locations, multiple spots, and we know that because of that manufacturing deviation, you know, we can tune every single head independently, but then end up at a spot where everything leaves the same. It's challenging because as you add the resin, every little thing you do, there's weighting consequences. So I know to help you with that, you've got a, a more carbon in the crown, the crown's a little bit lighter. Yep. You have to find ways to save weight so that you can keep the overall balance of the club where you want it. Correct, yeah, you know, there's, you know, if we're gonna talk about sound and, you know, the way that we use carbon fiber, you know, it's, it's kind of a, um, it's a challenge for our engineers to develop something that, you know, sounds pleasing to DJ and Woods and, you know, guys like me and you. It has to sound good, you know, first and foremost, and it has to, has to perform, it has to, has to check all the boxes, right? So when we're, when we're playing with ways to make the face faster, when we're moving weight around, you know, that can affect sound. And, you know, by how we use the carbon fiber s strategically, we can position weight where we want it, but not actually sacrifice sound, and to have a really benefit of good aerodynamics too. It's a very slippery club, this M6 is definitely very slippery, I like to say. Yeah, and it's also super forgiving because yep. by going so much thinner with the club face, what you've effectively done is expand the sweet spot. So players not only are gonna get that max ball speed when they hit it right out of the middle, but when they're a little bit off center, they're gonna get the advantages of a faster driver as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, you know, that face, like we said earlier, was, you know, it's a 20% thinner face. And when we make that face thinner, it gets faster. It's actually too fast. We tune it down, but then the surrounding areas around the center of the face now become faster. So now that shot that you maybe hit less than perfect is gonna end up in the fairway or end up further than you would have, you know, previously experienced, so. And of course, introduced in M3 and M4 and back in M5 and M6 is twist face, yep. where you've modified the face from a curvature standpoint and the low heel and high toe to help players sort of not suffer the consequences of those two common misses with as many foul balls. Oh, exactly. You know, twist face has definitely been a uh, revolutionary technology for us, and we don't throw something out there unless we know it actually works. So tons of, you know, years of testing, you know, hundreds of thousands of golf shots by real golfers to help identify what that curvature needs to be. And what we do is, you know, based on impact location, we change the curvature to effectively get you back in the center of the fairway. So we give you more loft and a more open club face on the toe, less loft and a more closed club face on the heel. So that shot that you hit high toe, that's that snappy duck hook, well, that's gonna stay in the air and go a little further for you. Same thing on the heel, you know, it's the exact opposite. We wanna mitigate spin as much as we can across the face. So we don't want spikes in your spin which affect your distance and your accuracy. And while M5 <coughs> has uh, movable weights in the T-Track, with M6 you've got a fixed weight sort of low and deep in the head. What does that do in terms of performance? Well, you know, because we have 56% more carbon fiber in the M6 uh, relative to the M4, we're able to position 46 grams of weight in what we call a inertia generator. I know it's a fun term, you know, we don't really First time that we're using that term, but this inertia generator is allowing us to basically position that weight 
low and deep in the head, but yet at the same time have the benefits of uh, fantastic aerodynamics, right? It's one thing to put the weight where we need it, but at the penalty of aero. So we can keep the crown high, we can keep the bottom of the club slippery for good aero, but at the same time that weight is low and deep, and 46 grams of weight is a lot of weight. And you know, when you position it low and back like that, high launch, low spin, big sweet spot, makes it a really forgiving club. And in addition to the standard M6, which I'm holding right here, yep. there's also gonna be the D-type, which is really gonna help that right-handed player who fights that miss to the right. And I know that's something you've done that's yep. been a really popular. Yeah, the um, D-type, you know, stands for draw, D is draw. And the really cool thing about that, you know, as, as golfers, you know, the most common shot that you see everyone hit is a big old slice to the right. Everyone, it's a very common shot for most golfers to hit. We're able to do a couple things actually this, and it's a, it's a technology that we at Taylor made feel real strongly about, is that it's one thing to position the weight towards the heel, and it's another thing to close the face to get you to go on straight. But what's a really cool technology that we have on the crown, when we separate the face from the crown with the two-tone colors, so the black and the silver, we can actually change how the club face looks at a dress. So we, so we can actually have that more closed face, but make it look square at a dress. And I fit, you know, as a fitter myself, I've actually fit golfers that are, you know, plus handicap golfers into the D-type, and they didn't even know that, that they were swinging a draw by a striver because it doesn't look any different at a dress than our standard one. You know, the last thing I want is you to walk up to the first tee and you got that big offset, <laughs> closed face, you know, kind of training wheels club. Like, no, this is a premium product really designed to keep you in the fairway, especially for that guy who slices it. Yeah, good stuff. Chandler, we appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. Glad to do it. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you.